one of those scenarios. You know, there are all these scenarios of apocalyptic events that you have to be prepared for. Zombie apocalypse, right. alien invasion. Robot uprising is just another one of those scenarios, and I've got a toolkit set up. Do you have? I mean, it, 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 it's, a, it's a valid question. I mean, like, as a robot specialist, do you have any advice for how to handle the uh, robot uprising? Um, you know, during an attack. Well, um, you know, the EMP hasn't been perfected quite yet. I will let you know it'll be available online on my website. <laughs> you were going to create the uprising so you can sell the cure. <laughs> A rudimentary digestive system, and I was thinking that's perfect for Jeff Peterson. <laughs> Jeff Peterson is going to evolve. He's got to evolve. He will, eventually. <laughs> Someday, legs. show together. Yeah. You don't understand. Like, yeah, I was imagining myself as a nerd turning the corner and looking at the green room of Jamie and you and the MST3K guys and Will Wheaton and Veronica Belmont. I was just like, <laughs> like I was choking on spit. So, and you guys are, you guys are royalty and you, you told this insane story about uh, something that someone made you sign. Uh, yeah, no, last year, last year we were at the signing table and uh, we, we got out there and there was this huge uh, I think largely it was a roar because Jamie stood up on the table and went like this. <laughs> it's just not something you expect to see. And as we were signing, people were bringing up all sorts of things for us to sign, and these people put a baby on the table. <laughs> like, we were a onesie that said, <laughs> it still creeps me out, we were a onesie that said, proof that nerds have sex. <laughs> Uh, 
we built it. You see us build it? We built it. No, no gremlins built it behind us. And at this point, because I'm sure in the beginning, it was just sort of like, well, you know, just for budgetary reasons, you know, we have to keep the crew small, keep the show worse. Now, I'm sure you guys can get whatever you want, but do you feel like it maintains the integrity of the show so that you do everything yourself? I, I, I personally feel like it's, I just know that I'm going to build it faster. Than, uh, it's faster for me to build it than explain to someone how to build it. Yeah. I, I like working like that. I, I have in my mind, it's actually quite a leap for me to take something out of my mind and give it to somebody. Because I like solving problems as I go. And, you know, give it to someone, you got to solve them all for them before they start. Or they've got to be really freaking good. Yeah. But there's a few times that I like to have a you know devil for some of the stunts we do. <laughs> stunts when you fall off something. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, I love you too. Uh, you know, ladies, he's available. Oh, <laughs> 